ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you to another very special episode of The Artist Mind. This is episode number two, and my name is Phil Bailey. I'm currently an architect major at Academy of Art University. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about productivity. We're going to be talking about some tea. We're going to be talking about how to track your time as a student, as a freelancer, how to really manage your time, how to not burn out in college. That's a really key, that's a really hot point, hot topic. Um, currently, and we're going to talk about different devices that I use and how I use them. I've got tons of Android devices here. Um, I've got talking computers. I just recently built me a new computer. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Um, as some of you may know, but some of you who don't know me, I am a very big tea drinker, and I'm currently drinking on a sample from Tiavana. Thank you. Shout out to Tiavana. Um, this is a oolong tea, which is kind of like a Maharaja blend with something else. It's a oolong, which means it is um, second to last in terms of strength. It goes from white to black. So this is technically almost a black tea, but it's not quite black. It's just, it's, it's less caffeinated, basically. And you kind of like do the little slurpy thingy just because it makes the flavor come out. I'm not being rude, that's just what you do, but very, very good stuff. Um, and I will say I'm very, very pleased with um, Tiavana. I, I buy from them a lot. I even have my tea on automatic order, so it just kind of comes to me. This one is a ginseng vitality. I love it. This is like really good. This one is the lemon lime uh, camp pie. They all smell really good, and they come in these like recyclable pouches that are like Ziploc bags, and then you can kind of like see the different teas in there. And this is loose leaf tea. This is way better than your typical like, you know, this is Stash. It's a brand in, from Oregon but it doesn't compare to Tiavana. So moving right along, I'm going to try to make this a little bit short. Um, I've had a few technical difficulties tonight with uh, the YouTube recorder, but let's go ahead and move right along. And before we start talking about productivity, it's probably going to be a second video. I'm going to kind of make a playlist. Um, but let's go ahead and talk about the classes that I'm currently taking, which right now I'm taking IAD-161, which is the same thing as LA-161 which is sacred geometry. Sacred ugh, geometry. The books that we're using are this one, Sacred Geometry, Philosophy and Practice, and Geometry of Design by all these really good people. And this one is really cool. It shows you different ads and how they relate, like how they were designed with sacred geometry. And this one is very philosophical. It talks about, you know, how geometry was created, how the different cultures used it. Um, very, very good read. I highly recommend it if you're interested in learning about shapes and proportions and all that good stuff. So for our, I'm going to call it IAD-161, but um, our IAD-161, we had to do a drawing journal, construction journal, and it's 11 by 14, and I'm just going to show you only one of my constructions, because I really want to keep this video a bit short, but it was kind of funny, the other day, I tweeted on Twitter, I was like, hey, I was like, I was like, mom, uh, today I learned how to make a fish bladder, and it was kind of like a geeky, like, joke, whatever, but like, this is a fish bladder. This is a Vesica Piscis. And basically, this is kind of a spiritual kind of shape. You might see some of the, um, um, like the Christian, um, the fish, how you've got that kind of like the loops and the thingies. And this is kind of like a similar shape. And it's made up of two circles, which, or who, share the same radius. And you can do a lot of things, like here up top, you've got an equilateral triangle, you've got like a, they call it a, um, what do they call that? 
like a one two square or like a like a one by two rectangle or double rectangle is what it's called double square rectangle whatever um, just lots of different ways to construct different shapes of the universe this is um, one of the seven universal shapes which is awesome and so that's what we've been learning in that class and then for architecture 170 we're now in week four which by the way our um, our midterms actually start next week and week six it's like oh but not too bad so in architecture 170 we're actually doing two-point measured perspectives from actual floor plans where we're literally taking floor plans and blueprints offline and we are redrawing them with two-point perspectives so down here is what I actually drew and I, all these different lines come from different points and just like you know picture plane uh, horizon line ground line all that kind of stuff and I also had to use the um, elevation of the building and so all of these lines kind of work together to produce the two-point perspective measure two-point perspective all in all um, everything is good um, I actually had a yellow pulse on my pulse system which Academy of Art uses a pulse system to kind of let you know how you're doing in school you know green is great um, yellow is you know improvement and the red is like oh my god you better do something like because they are not happy with what you're doing or you're just not doing the right thing um, so my pulse was yellow because I was averaging a C on my assignments in my drawing class for architecture but recently it went back up and my average grade now for architecture is a B minus so I'm actually pretty happy with that um, let's talk about one other thing here the man of steel Superman. This is where I keep all of my pencil shavings, um, my favorite tools, my best friends, my artist loft, engineering scale. Good for architecture, good for engineering, and especially for me, architectural engineer, this is like one of my best friends. It basically teaches you or shows you different scales on different sides. Every way you turn it has its own scale so you can build a model like this big and if you want to build the same model this big you can find a scale to make that happen I've been playing a lot of racquetball lately and sometimes when you're going through the stresses of college you definitely want to play some racquetball it's very competitive it's it burns about 500 calories per hour um, it's like my all-time favorite sport probably tied with swimming and climbing like swimming climbing and racquetball are all number one on my list and um, we're going to talk a little bit about which way is the yes this I actually bought off of Amazon this is actually craft recycled paper and I bought a freaking big roll. I'm going to actually bring it out. I'm going to show you how big the roll is. But the roll is literally like 4 feet by 200 feet long. Um, it's all recycled, which means I get to do lots of different sketches and not waste any new trees. It's 100% recycled. You can use it for wrapping paper. You can use it to wrap food in if you want to, I believe. Lots of different uses for craft paper. Just Google craft DIY, whatever. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about my journals, Rodea. Shout out to Rodea. I would love you guys to sponsor my nonprofit AMA. This is actually a grid pad um, and it's very cool. I like it because it's black and orange, modern masterpiece orange. Here's another orange notebook. This is actually one of my travel journals. Um, this is a pentallic journal. I've written my name and inside I've got different ideas. Um, I have some engineering that I do, like sometimes I have an idea, I do like a visual note taking kind of thing and I'm going to do another video, we're going to talk all about visual note taking so definitely look for the annotations wherever I'm going to put them in this video and go ahead and click to the next video and we will see you again for the artist mind we're going to be talking about productivity for college students so definitely stay tuned if you haven't already Make sure you guys both follow me on Google Plus and also subscribe to me on Google Plus. Alright, peace.